hi my beautiful aliens welcome to my channel goddess of life 1111 if you are new to my channel welcome if you are with returning subscribers welcome back this reading is for my lovely aries sun moon rise and venus and jupiter thank you god thank you universe universal energies ancestors for guy archangels ascended masters please give my lovely aries a clear precise honest message for the highest good all right aries so this is finance and career so i'm sending you lots of wealth lots of abundance and blessing prosperity always so let's see what's going on for you in your finance and career aries oh we have weight at the bottom no need to worry and you also have weight so spirit um uh, angels what do you have for aries and the finance and career what do you have for Aries for the financing career? So you need to get more information, Aries. So for those of you that are going apply for a job, if you go and apply for a job, you need to get more information. That's what I'm getting here. This is about your this is about your livelihood, your abundance. There's a need for you to get more information. How much the job is paid? Is it going to be worth it? Are you gonna get this promotion? So whatever you are going to go for, you need to get some more information, Aries. What else you have for Aries for the finance and the career spirit? We have be assertive. Yeah, you also need for those of you that are going to go get a job. You need to be assertive. You need to say what you want. Um, you need to say what you want and mean what you say. That's what I'm getting here because you don't want people to go over, you know, to go over you and use your, um, you know, use your skills. I'm getting in here. You definitely need to be assertive on your inter on your interview. Ask for what you want and um that's what spirit say here stand your ground you know for those of you that are getting you know be assertive is about standing in your ground set, set up boundaries for yourself aries uh give me one more card please for aries financing career wow yeah so don't let nobody you know don't let nobody overwork you oh aries look at this no kiddings so aries honey there is a beautiful abundance that's coming for you mm -hmm. but like i say for those of you don't let nobody use you don't let nobody take advantage of your skills don't let the, you spend a whole lot of money for school don't let nobody use it, but you are about to be blessed with abundance. I feel like, okay, Aries. Oh, yes. Big, happy change at the bottom. Be, assert be assertive. You know, I like it, Aries. Spirit, what do you have for my lovely Aries for the financing career? We have perspective again like i just say you know looking at things in different perspective there's a better way pause for reflection and inside there to be different look at things in different perspective ask information you know get clarity before you do anything before you say yes five of pentacles you know yeah you don't want nobody to um, bread coming you you need to go through your current challenging alone help is nearby negative thought create self-fulfilling prophecy so there you don't need to be feeling like you know you don't have enough there's not you know that's what i'm getting here i feel like spirit is telling you you have plenty that's what i'm getting you know you have plenty so there's no need for you to worry just the only thing is that you have to set up proper boundaries when it's come to your finance especially if you are trying to get a job or um you know if someone is trying to don't let them just bread coming you and you feel like you're going to be worried about not having enough because i feel like spirit say here your angel is telling you here you are abundance and if you have if you are not you know whatever you have 
it's abundance you have ten of Michael here ten of swords so for some of you you know you might be ended a job you know for some of you a situation has ended and you are finance, financially free no opportunity for happiness will not follow put the past behind you so you know what I'm getting here is not you I ended a job or anything this is you no longer be uh, going to be in a, a financial lock this the financial lack this is you no longer going to be in the because this is abundance coming for you it look like in the past this is talking this energy he talking at the give me the past with the ten of swords here you could have been in that energy you lost everything you lost your job you lost your finance you lost everything but i feel like it's coming back to you it is whatever you have lost and stuff it's returning back to you what that what else do you have for my Aries for the finance and career? We have the moon secrets. The moon here is for you to use your intuition. When it's come to your money, the opportunity to improve your plan, listen to your intuition. Yeah, for accuracy, guidance, face your fears and go stronger. Don't be feeling like I'm I'm keep telling you here, Aries. Don't be feeling like, you know, you in any type of luck whatsoever. But there's also for you to keep your finance, your finance, uh, you know, a secret. <laughs> you need to keep that. But use your intuition for some of you. You know the truth. So you know the truth. You know, you got clarity here. Mm -hmm. Queen of Pentacles. So... You are stable, you are grounded, which is as good. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything uh, to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. So for some of you, you could maybe there's a need for you to mentor someone, Aries, mature practicals, you know, generous and happy. I feel like mentoring someone might be a good thing for you. You might, for some of you, you might be a manager, a leader, uh, but spirits say here, mentoring another for them to be uh, financially stable, it might be a good thing. We have the high priestess, okay. So we have the high priestess, powerful psychic insight, reflection, meditation that provide valuable information. Again, use the, use your intuition. We have the moon here. For some of you, you might be a high priestess. If you are not a high priestess, I felt like, like again, it's like there's a need. You stable, you grounded, you know, keep something a secret here. Be assertive. Helping someone, you know, mentoring someone here to be successfully will bring you a tremendous amount of abundance. What else do you have for Aries for the finance and career? We have Three of Cups. So Three of Cups, see, this is about working together, collaboration, you know, celebration. You have you have co you have a community here. Happy announcement regarding relationship or children. I feel like there's a need, you know, something in here you need to celebrate, Aries. That's what I'm getting here. Maybe there's a need for you to work together with some friends, you know, family, something here that's need collaboration on your part. Give me two more cards for Aries for the finance and career. Change your life. A sudden revelation that's offer freedom, break free from procrastination, embrace the opportunity that that's change brings. Give me one more card, please, for Aries for the finance and career spirit. Five of Raphael. So there's an, you know, I feel like Father of Raphael here. Everything happened for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunity for happiness. Search for silver lining. So yeah, Spirit is telling you that, like I say, 
if you have some type of ending in the past that you lost all your finance you lost your all your abundance it doesn't telling me how you're gonna be abundance but i feel like you are queen of pentacles here it's only one card here that if you for some of you that are looking for a job you are going to get if you want a um, management position you are going to get that if you want to create your own business and stuff go for it so for some of you that also want to have your own you know whatever business you are trying to create here and i feel like there's you you for some of you that also are high priestess even if you don't know it you could be a high priestess you don't know it you know you could be working in that field that it will bring you abundance but i feel like aries what i'm getting here is all eyes on you when it's come to your money so we have queen of michael here yeah someone in here like mentor and page of ariel queen of swords um someone in this person is you know someone that is very brilliant self-reliant insightful humorous you know but this person might not be you know you've been having that on your finest uh, career a lot somebody who want to work with you this person want to collaborate with you but what i'm getting in here is it's kind of not wise to work with this person because if someone in here you if you cause someone an ending why would i work with you you know what i'm saying that's what i'm getting here page of ariel is look like you need to looking at things in different perspective um there's solution though success does come from obje objective compromise self-control and patience forgiving and healing uh and healing energy so let's do some clarification for you for your finance in your career what is the ten of swords please for aries finance and career okay so four of pentacles i feel like right now you need to hold on to your savings that's what spirit say to you but you have some type of justice you have justice the emperor here so there's a need for you to hold on so whatever that you have lost aries i feel like there's a need for you to hold on what is the fourth pentacles for aries finance and career the strength yeah you need to hold you need to hold back you need to hold down from um make sure you're not overspending that's what spirit is telling you here what is the five of pentacles eight of swords some of you you are in your head yeah you know how spirit just say what don't be self you know don't be um self-fulfilling you know prophesies on you being in a light because if you are in your head about being broke you are going to, want to be broke aries so don't do that that's what i'm getting here with this eight of swords i feel like you need to turn this you need to turn this eight of swords and reverse and five of pentacles because i feel like you spirit say you are very abundant you might not looking at it maybe for some of you you know this is where story to start maybe for some of you in the past life in the past life you could have been in the you know on the poverty lane and for some of you you know i'm getting in here with the five of ariel you're afraid of being hom homeless you're afraid of being in some type of lack but i feel like this is only in your head so get that out of your head always manifesting you are abundance aries because you are okay you are clarify the moon please for aries Yeah, ten of pentacles. <laughs> Ooh, Aries, look at you, honey. Look at you, ten of pentacles. You are about to be very, very well off. I don't know what's going on for you, but I'm feeling energy here. Ten of pentacles. You are about to be very, very well off. Clarify the ten of pentacles. Eight of cups. Yeah, you are moving forwards. You are moving towards a lot of money, Aries. That's what I'm getting here. You are no longer, what is the eight of pentacles? You will be no longer be in an, any type of lack. You are moving for, you are moving towards a lot of money. Yeah, look at that eight of wands. It's continue, whatever you are doing, Aries, continue doing it. Eight of wands, 
if you create any type of products if you create any type of business if you have any type of online things you do and that have something to do with communication continue doing it is gonna bring you a lot of money for some of you you might be making ten thousand dollars a month you might be making oh you know you are good so stop worrying <laughs> stop worrying Aries. stop worrying you have change here five five of pentacles five of cups stop worrying spirit said this isn't then the past put it on the path even if you don't have making this type of money right now just put it in your vocabulary this is what i'm going to make this is what i want to make and this is what i am making even if you're not making it this is how you manifest let's go find a high priestess please i feel like you're good here you stop worrying yeah you have options you have a lot of options when it comes to making money you have a lot of supporters also with the seven of cups that's what i'm getting there's no need for you to worry about being broke don't prophesize that you are get out of your head you are abundance you are about to be like Ooh okay Aries, I like this. So, hey Aries, you see your first card, right? Let me show you guys. For those of you that kind of miss the, you know, if you are skipping from the first part, see, this is your cards. Your angels, what God has for you, no man can stop you. You're going to be just fine. What has changed your life? The high priestess. <laughs> the high priestess wow why is the high priestess is here twice spirit so you being a, if for, for you some of you you know you might be need to start working as a high priestess you need to start yeah look at that wow shut the front door and keep it shut oh my god Hear your energy, Aries. The will of fortune. I feel like you surprise yourself. For some of you, you're going to be shocked. You're going to be surprised. Because you're about to become very wealthy. It's your birth, it's your birthright. This is something you're supposed to do. For some of you, if you're gonna become a high priestess, you are about to become very wealthy. However, you decided to work on this, it's gonna put you, you just need to be confident in yourself. Queen of Wands, confident, very confident. Queen of Pentacles, very confident. You just need to be confident in yourself. Come on, Aries, go get that money, honey. Mm-hmm. But you also need to keep things to yourself though. You also need, um, I know that like if you have platform, it might be hard to keep it to yourself, but look at things in different perspective. Oh no, this is the universe. This is the universe granted you for you. You will never, this is like, you will never be in something in his surprise. You might be surprised. You will never be broke. You will never be in a poverty. You will never be homeless. You just need to remove yourself out of that energy of this is a self prophecy. This is how you feel. This is, or this is, you feel that way. This is what the universe is giving you. Wealth, health, good money, lots of it. Mm. I don't know what to tell you, Aries. This is beautiful. <laughs> no kidding. I rather do these readings because they give me a sense of, you know, there's no negative energy coming in this unless you're dealing with crazy people. That's why people want to work with you because you are manifest. You are, uh, you know how to manifest, Aries. That's what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. You are good. I don't need to mess up with this reading no more. All right, Aries, congratulations. Don't forget the small people. I love you guys. Bye, Aries. Yeah, take actions. Nine of Wands, Two of Cups, Page of Wands, Two of so Two of Wands, the Star. You get to you about become a star. But this 
it's kind of like surprise for some of you your success is going to surprise you you see this card literally flew out of the card some of you whatever you are doing this is the universe granted you your wish this is something you could have been like i say you can have been you could have been you in the past life spirit asking you you know the universe god asking you your contract is if you was you know in a poverty li uh, line in your past life when you come in in here you have to do certain things you agree to do certain things that's going to bring you this is healthy very healthy that you agree to do certain things and stuff like that is going to bring you abundance you never have to worry about being homeless um in this lifetime this is what i'm getting here all right aries i love you guys don't forget to like to subscribe and share the video bye aries